dry. I'm coming in for a moment. I have this uh, glazed sort of a urn. I'm going to use it for flowers, and uh, and it's pretty just the way it is. But I'm going to use it for some cottagey looking roses and flowers for a kind of a tall arrangement to go in the room I'm redecorating. And everything in there is sort of not exactly shabby chic, but sort of a cab. Uh, cottage cheek kind of a thing, but I want this to be white and, I, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to work on these details But this thing is glazed see how that's shiny and it's slick And I'm worried that even with a chalk and clay based paint that it's not going to stick good on this so I'm going to use the Dixie Belle slick stick and what this stuff does it took me a minute to catch on to the name but what this stuff does is uh create a sticky surface or not a sticky surface but create a surface on slick surfaces that sort of like a primer but but a good primer that allows you to paint on stuff like this glazed uh or things like laminate countertops and things like that where you can't scratch it off later you're not going to do all that work to make it pretty and then have it bite you in the rear end later on um uh getting my chip brush out of the ziploc bag where i had it in my refrigerator from day before yesterday while i was working on the end table and i'm gonna put it back in there when i'm done because i'm gonna use uh, more slick stick on the dresser and the headboard that go with that same set. But I wanted to just slap a good coat of this on here this morning before I go to work to where when I get home tonight I can do the fun part. And, uh, and I don't even know if this part's going to absorb uh, the primer. But I wanted to make sure and slap a good coat. And it doesn't have to be anything neat. I'm just slapping it on there. Uh, in order for the paint that I want to do tonight, when I get to make it pretty, I want it to stick and I want it to stay. So I've been pretty impressed so far with the slick stick. I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not a person who loves to do uh, prep work, but I am a person who gets upset if I do a whole lot of work trying to make something pretty and then have to turn around later and it's got scratches and dents and dings on it that make it not so pretty and you know if I would have taken an extra this is probably going to take me five minutes or less if I would have taken an extra five minutes in the beginning to prep my piece then I would have had a a better stick and a better piece in the long run so I paid $9.99 for this thing yesterday at Goodwill and I normally don't spend that much. I was there looking for a, a table to stand a pretzel machine on for work. Couldn't find one at uh, my local uh, flea market at, right down the block from me. So I'm like, well, at lunchtime, I'll run over to Goodwill. They just moved into a new building. I hadn't been there in a while. And they didn't have a table that I needed. But uh, it was nice and clean in there. And I did find this. And it had another one that was really cute, kind of a flat one that... Uh, matched it but it had one of the handles broken off and I'm like eh, not gonna do something where then I'm trying to figure out how to make a new handle and everything else all I need is one I wanted something to put some tall pretty cottagey looking flowers in and I want it and while I think this is beautiful this uh, color it's not gonna match the room that I'm working on and I'm trying to you know redo a whole entire bedroom for you know probably under $200 by the time I, you know, buy, I'm waiting, I believe a sale starts any day at Sherwin-Williams for the wall paint. I've already went and got a sample and uh, picked out my color and then I came home with that sample and actually uh, painted that big rose painting that's going to go behind the bed. The back of that is Sherwin-Williams wall paint and I'll use it a little bit in some decor, but the sample paints are not good enough to paint your walls on them. They're, I'm painting a dark room uh, that's been a forest green into a kind of a muted teal color. So I need a paint and primer in one. And, you know, I'm in my mid-50s, so this is going to be the last time I paint that bedroom, I'm sure. I've got other rooms in the house to tackle with the rest of my years. So I want it to look good and to stay and to be a good paint. I believe in using good paint and good paint products and good paint brushes but i'm using the heck out of this dixie bell chip brush because i'm wanting to job up in all of these crevices and stuff here and use this uh this primer 
and I'm trying to, I'm not needing to get up into these crevices that good. I'm just wanting to get, I'm going to get the lid. I don't know why, because I'm probably not going to use it, but you never can tell. May as well make it mat. Garage sale in two years that somebody else may want the lid. They may want to put great uncle Harry's ashes in here for all I know. Uh, but I'm going to put flowers in it. But anyway, the, it has that ceramic glazed finish, and uh, it has the old world feel because some areas they didn't do, but there's no way I'm going to be able to paint over that slick finish uh, and, have it, and have it stay, even with chalk paint, even with clay paint, and all the ones that I use where you're not supposed to have to prep. Sometimes you need to use your good common sense and think, that's awfully slick and uh, you know this stuff is good for most everything but i might better save myself some frustration later on and do a little prep so that's what i'm doing this morning and i had somebody ask me yesterday how i you know how i do so much and i don't know where there's a will there's a way you just want to i woke up early this morning i'm gonna go spend the evening with my grandkids tonight so i won't be home to cook dinner so i've already cooked dinner so it'll be ready uh, for my husband to eat tonight when he gets home and i decided I've, I've got an hour before i have to leave for work and i'm dressed i'm ready so i decided man i, I should go ahead and throw a coat of that slick stick on that vase so that I could paint it tonight if I'm in the mood, which I probably will be, unless the grandkids wear me out. And uh, that way it will be prepped. So there you go. I believe that probably, I don't see a timer on here, but I'm, even with me jacking my jaws, that took less than five minutes. And tonight, well, usually you should wait 24 hours, but we'll see if that happens. But anyways, by 24 hours from now, the way that slick stick works is the slick glazed surfaces that were on here. I'm not going to be able to scratch this paint off with my fingernail. That's how I'm going to know whether it needs another coat and whether the slick stick worked and whether I should go on into, you know, probably spending another five or ten minutes slapping a coat of, of chalk paint on it. And then I'm going to want to glaze and I'm going to want to wax and I'm going to want to make it look cute and all those cute crevices and details that are on here. And... I want to make sure it's going to stick. So there you go. That's how I would slap on some stick, slick stick. The reason why I would slap on some slick stick. And we shall see. Because if I can scratch this later on, I'm going to come on here and tell you about that too. But I don't believe I will be able to. So uh, I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.